Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids and this is my full review of the 2012 Apple MacBook Air. This is the 13 inch model and this was configured to order. So this has got an Intel Core i7 processor running at two gigahertz and it also had the memory upgraded from the standard four gigabytes of RAM to eight gigabytes of RAM. Now, price wise, I'll tell you that right at the start in the UK, 1,449 pounds in the US, $1,699. Now, what I've been using the MacBook Air for in the time that I've had it is primarily for a little bit of video editing, but also a lot of email, web surfing, and using Photoshop elements. I create all of my thumbnails for my videos on the MacBook Air, and it really does turn over a good speed. Now, I've already done a benchmark of the complete system. You can check out the link under this video to check the benchmark video. I also did a disk speed test and of course the unboxing. All of the links will be down underneath this video. But I wanna show you just a little bit of the performance. I mean, I use Photoshop Elements all the time and it loads up really quickly. You can see that on your screen now. And this is the template that I use for my thumbnails. And all I do is I basically uh, grab a screenshot or a photo from one of the videos that I produced and then I copy and paste that in to the background on my template and then I drag out the size just if it misses a little bit like it has here and then I will say that's okay and then I will just over type some of the text so I would call this Apple MacBook Air review and then I might change the color of that because that's gonna look better in white. And click on okay. And then I will change this one to read review. Uh, no, let's do 2012 because we've already got review up there. And then I would save that out. And it's just perfect for doing this sort of thing. There's no lag, uh, no problems with performance. And something like Photoshop Elements or even the full blown Photoshop works extremely well on the 13 inch MacBook Air. Now throughout my time of using this, I've given it a real good test with regards to battery life. The battery life has been really good. I think Apple quotes something like seven hours. I've been getting between sort of five and six and a half hours from a single charge. Now I haven't had this long enough to check the standby time, but Apple will again say you'll get around about 30 days, I think it is of standby time. So that's sort of with the lid closed in sleep mode. And I tend to believe them. I do think you would probably get pretty near to that. The battery is quite fantastic on this. Now, with regards to heat generated, a lot of people ask, do these get hot? Comparing this to the previous MacBook Air I had, so the 2011 model, this does tend to get a little bit warmer on these side panels here. Not too bad, but definitely a little bit warmer. Now I'm gonna show you a test now which will reveal just how hot this gets once it's done some video processing. So to show you just how warm this gets on the side, I'm gonna use this little infrared thermometer. We point this at the side here, and we're getting a reading of 27.8 degrees centigrade, switch over to Fahrenheit, 82.7. Now, when this has been turned off completely, the readings round about the 20 degrees centigrade. So already we're up by 8.2 degrees. So we're gonna let this video complete exporting and then we will test the uh, temperature again and see if we get a difference in temperature. So we're coming up to the end of this video exporting now and I can already hear the fans ramping up in the MacBook Air. Now the previous temperature was 28.2. So let's take another reading on that side panel there and we are up to 30.1 degrees centigrade and in Fahrenheit that's 87 degrees. So it has gone up by over two degrees centigrade. So we're just gonna let this finish exporting and just do one more temperature reading. So we're on 30.6 at the moment. So it's not terribly hot, it's definitely warm to the touch. I uh, don't think there's any other hot spots. Well, that feels hotter in the middle here, so I will do a temperature reading in the middle. That's finished exporting now, so let's do one more temperature reading. And we are up to 31.5 now, so definitely it has gone up in temperature. And we do one reading just at the back there, in that center portion that felt hotter to touch, 
and that is 38.6 or 102.5 Fahrenheit. So 102.5 Fahrenheit or actually 39.2 centigrade in that central point. Let's just do that once more. And yeah, it is sitting at round about the 39.2, 39.4 mark in that central point, or 103.6 degrees Fahrenheit. So not in any way dangerously hot, but you can definitely feel that it does build up heat along this portion here and along this side here. The front palm rests still feel nice and sort of cool to the touch, so no issues with heat generation on the palm rests. So moving on, the other points I really am pleased with with the new 2012 MacBook Air is the addition of the HD FaceTime camera. It works extremely well. You've seen it in a couple of my videos being used. And I also just like the, the overall feel that hasn't changed of the chiclet style keyboard and that really nice multi-touch trackpad. Now I'm gonna close this up. A lot of people say to me, why do you do the review of a MacBook Air with a case on? This is how I run with it. This is how I take it out and about. So this is how I'm gonna show it to you. If you wanna see the unboxing of this, then click the link under the video and you'll see it without the case on. But this is how I use it every day. So I wanna to show to you that using this uh, spec see-through cover, that it hardly adds on any bulk. We've still got full access to the ports. Love the fact that these are USB 3. I've tested these already. I'll be showing you some performance videos on the USB 3 ports. I've also tested Thunderbolt port on this with a Thunderbolt adapter, works extremely well. The SDHC card slot, again, good turn of speed on that. It's a really nice design, the MacBook Air. And around on this side, we've got some extra ports. Not a big fan of the MagSafe 2. This is thinner than the original MagSafe. Doesn't feel quite as good. It hasn't got as much grip and the cable pokes right out rather than running out the back of the machine. So. Not really pleased that they changed it to the MagSafe 2 on this. Another USB 3, headphone, and a little microphone pickup there as well. This MacBook Air is absolutely fantastic. I absolutely love it. This is the Apple 2012 MacBook Air. Highly recommend it. It is a fantastic machine. If you're looking for something that is very portable, but still turns over a good performance, I would definitely consider one of these. Well, thanks very much for watching. This has been Dave from Geekanoids. Please do give this video a thumbs up and I will see you all in the next one.